Hey everybody, it's August 23rd. Um, you're here at the Chaos DEI Working Group, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group. This is just so everybody knows um, under the Chaos Code of Conduct. So if you can just kind of keep that in mind, that'd be great. And of course, as always, cameras on, off, whatever you want to do. If you want to have your mic on, you can. If you want to chat with us in the chat, that's also completely valid. And I will turn on captions because I forgot to do that. Um, Hey, Mary Blessing, we're just now getting started. So you didn't miss anything. Um, and if uh, somebody can drop that, oops, drop that in the chat. Actually, I can. Just for Mary Blessing or anybody else that has joined. Um, if you want to uh, add your name, tell us how you're doing today. Uh, that'd be great. If not, that's also fine. Jumping into the agenda, um, I just want to put this out here again. We do have some All Things Open tickets available. Um, so if anybody on this call, um, anybody wants to take advantage of that, um, happy to pass that along to you, how you can um, take advantage of that. We still have three full passes and two exhibitor only passes, which gets you into the exhibitor hall only. Um, if that's something that you know you just want to come and hang out and do the hallway track <laughs> that's also valid um, and then if we do end up getting rid of those uh passing those out um any other tickets after that are only 99 dollars. so it's a really good deal it's a fantastic conference jam-packed full of stuff it's two days in october in raleigh north carolina so um please just reach out to me uh and john that's also for you and your team too um, so feel free to, if anybody needs them, just let, let us know. And yeah, I'll be happy to pass that along. Um, any questions about that? <coughs> yeah, I should have gotten a drink before I came in here. My throat is kind of scratchy. Um, okay, so quick update on project badging. Um, we are still working on that <laughs> still still moving forward making progress um so we're making really really good progress on that um there are a few dates i don't know if we feel comfortable um sharing the date that we we're hoping to have everything ready or not matt what do you think i don't know if we want to <laughs> we want to put that out there in the universe or not but it's, it's okay i mean we we had a meeting on um uh, monday with folks who had been working on kind of the different parts of badging. So like the website, like, like the application part, and then kind of the tooling that could take a look at a uh, repository and issue a badge and then how uh, that, that component would communicate with Augur to um, provide a report for the repositories that are being badged. And so this is all um, this is all work that's being done by Sean and his team and um, Enoch and Kingsley and his team and Ruth and there are so many people that are involved in this. So I think one of the things that we were really focusing on on Monday was getting a good understanding of kind of the the different verticals. So like the application website or the check for the DEI.md file or the create report and kind of where we were percentage wise and having those completed. And so we got really good insight on how well we were doing in that regard. And then we kind of had a horizontal because all three of those kind of verticals are connected and how we're doing with respect to, um, to kind of connecting those things. So for example, when somebody applies, how does that information get handed off to actually generate a badge? Um, and then also a little bit of a conversation just around branding, like what a badge could potentially look like. Um, so the, I think for a while we had not great clarity, or at least I didn't have great clarity on how all of these components were kind of working together. Uh, and based on the meeting, it, it was really, I think, really successful. And <laughs> it was really great for me, at least in the meeting, to understand where everybody was at. Um, and how we're doing and kind of what our timeline is um, on kind of getting those things completed. So that's kind of the update on, on project badging and just kind of for folks to understand too, this is 
the system is like independent that we've been working on is independent of any of the platforms. So like it's independent of say the GitHub platform. So it's not integrated into GitHub or for example, integrated into GitLab. It's a, it's an independent um, system. So, and that's what we've kind of been working on. And it's been really helpful just to kind of think through complexities around badging and, and kind of the narratives of, of what we would ask people and how we do explain things to people. So hopefully I got that right, Elizabeth. Just in terms of, I didn't say dates, but yeah, no, that was great. That was perfect. I think. Um, I had one other update on project badging. So, um, folks from from GitLab have been really thoughtful in terms of providing feedback on the DEI.md file. So you know how like we have this is the metric that we that we would ask you to kind of attend to in the DEI.md file. And then we provide sample ways that you could say that you're attending to that metric. Do you know what I'm talking about? So we kind of have like samples, like if you're attending to um, you know, the first metric here are different ways that you can kind of represent that. So um, folks from GitLab have been really great in terms of providing feedback on that because really every sample of how to address a metric uh, was kind of chaos centric -y, <laughs> like because it was written by by us here in the chaos project. So it was nice to get other perspectives on on how a project could potentially think about uh, those particular metrics. So uh, thanks to the GitLab team on that. And I'm kind of working on um, organizing those in such a way that the suggestions aren't there aren't like 20 suggestions or 25. So the, the suggestion list isn't giant, but it's at least somewhat compact so people can read through the examples pretty easily. Anyway, that's, I'm, that's, that's where I'm at with project badging. Awesome. Well, thank you, Matt. I don't know. So I mentioned that Enoch was going to kind of give us a demo and I held him in the last hour trying to resolve something. So. I'm not sure Enoch is going to be able to do that. So Enoch, do you have any updates to share on your end maybe? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought I really had, but looks like I won't be able to do that. Um, Just for sure, I figured out the database issue and resolved it. But just because I was updating the server, there's some services that stopped to to, to work. So while I was figuring those out, I was held by Ruth some minutes before we came here for some time. So I won't be able to do that today, but um, hopefully I can resolve those later. What were you working on, Enoch? I'm just curious based on our conversation from Monday. Okay, yeah, uh, so Ruth, on yeah. Monday, oh, yeah, I don't know who you speaking. No, I, I was saying that last week, um, me and like, Enoch and I kind of talked about doing like a short demo for this group because I I we had not like brought, okay, this is how this works like visually um, to the DI working group. So I had spoken to Enoch to maybe prepare like a short demo to do here on how I the book works and all that stuff. So I held Enoch back the last hour that who was supposed to use to sort out some database issues. So, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Yep. That was it. So the demo won't be possible today, um, or, but um, it will be possible on demand <laughs> and maybe the next meeting. Or next, next week. We can do it next week as well. Yeah, sure. Okay. Right on. Yeah. I'll put a thing here. Um to leave space on the agenda for you, Enoch. And then if if it does, if you're not ready, that's totally fine. Just let me know and we'll take it off. Okay, any other questions, comments, anything else to add about project badging? Oh, okay. Sorry, I got hopped on late here, but... Um... I didn't know, Matt, did, were you able to take any of the ones we had made for GitLab for the uh, newcomer experience yet and try to I am, pull those over? Yes, I'm, I just, I commented on that. So, so I'm doing that right now. So I'm just trying to get the list 
Um, I've got a document like I can show you, but I'm just trying to get the list down from, I think if I included the things that you had provided and the things that we had, it was kind of a long list. So I'm trying to just smush it a little bit and I'll, that's on my agenda for probably this afternoon or tomorrow morning and get that shared back. Perfect. Thanks. Yep. And I had also given a big thank you to, to all of the feedback that you've been giving on that DEI.md file. So thank you for that very much. It's, it's gotten us out of a kind of a chaos centric way of thinking about those metrics because <laughs> that's where they originally started and uh, getting the other input is, is really great. So thank you. Happy to help. Thanks. Okay, awesome. I'm going to just go on then to event badging. Um, this I'm glad you're here, Ina, because this I think is a question for you mostly. Um, we have three new metrics that uh, we were planning to add to our application for events. And um, we, we kind of loosely said summer and it's like almost the end of summer now. So, well, summer here in, in the US, I should say, the months of June, July, August. Um, so I'm just wondering, you know, uh, what, what do I need to do? I know that the new event badging website is not ready yet. So I just want to, I guess, check with you and your team if I can add those to the current application that's on the chaos website. So I think, I think what we can do, um, you can just create, um, a markdown file for the new for the new metrics integrated into the old markdown file. And then I can make a test for that and adjust um, the calculations that the bot does. And then once that is ready, we can put it into production, like on the website so that people can fill them in. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because I'm sure I'm sure there is like a markdown file that is generated when um, a form is submitted. So you can just copy that markdown file and then add in the new metrics and then um, create like an issue for it. Then I can test out the bot with that uh, markdown file. And if there are some adjustments in the calculations to do, I can do those. And when that looks fine and doesn't go beyond 100%, then we know, it's, it, it, we, know we can integrate it in the website. Okay, perfect. I will do that then. I put an action item here for me. So I will do that. And for anybody who's curious what those new metrics are, um, we are going to start asking folks about specifically about event accessibility and how they think about that and integrate that into their event. Um, we're also asking about event location inclusivity, which is um, mostly around events that are held in places that are not friendly to certain marginalized groups, for instance, like Texas isn't that LGBTQ friendly, and um, we're not going to penalize events for hosting them in those types of, of um, places, but we just want them to be aware of it. So our metric gives them some resources that they can kind of just check and see on uh, other websites, you know, that are keeping track of things like um, uh, legislation and things like that. So um, we just ask them if they're if they've checked if they're aware of it and, and if there are issues how they're um, communicating those to their attendees. Um, just so to let attendees know that uh, <clears throat> this is something that they might want to consider when they are um, coming to the event so that's the second one and the third one is public health and safety and that is um, a partnership with the um, public health and safety pledge um run by josh simmons and it's it's another badging initiative i don't know if you all remember our conversations around this but it's a lot a, a lot more in depth um, around policies around covid vaccinations masking all of that and they do a fantastic job of um, just really exploring all the different kind of options and and things that are available um, so that events event organizers we're not we're not duplicating um efforts with those folks we are partnering with them so on our application we just ask if they've done that badging system if they've gone through that process and if they haven't that's fine it's just one check you know they're not gonna it's not a, a huge deal breaker but we just also want to help encourage folks to go do that and to take a look at that so those are our three new metrics um, if anybody uh, has any questions about that 
could we write a blog post? I see Matt German pray giving me more work. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, we have shared them already with the applicants. Um, we okay. gave them a heads up at the beginning of, of summer just to say, hey, these are coming okay. down the pipe. So, yeah. What was their reaction? Just it was all fine. Fine. Um, mostly they were okay. worried that it would be implemented um, in the, like right before their current wave. You know, yes. how LF has like waves. So um, we said, no, we'll, we'll get them in sometime in the next couple of months. We just wanted to give you a heads up. So my hope is okay. that we get them in now and then by the wave in October, September, then they've had time okay. to think about it. A okay. Perfect. Thank you. I did. Yeah, it was exactly it. Just so it does, they don't apply. And they're like, what are these? Surprise! <laughs> right. <laughs> Here's three more things you got to do. Um, so right. this part here, though, is a great idea. Um, so I will just say yes. Um, oops. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll maybe send that to them again, just like a reminder of, Hey, don't forget starting whatever October 1st or something like that, or whenever it actually yeah. starts. Um, okay. Does anybody have questions on that? Or comments or anything? Yeah, this is also something I need to, and I, I believe I have an issue open in the badging repo, the event badging repo that says um, it's for re badgers. Um, but I also, I just want to make a note here to myself too, just to remind the badgers that we will have three new uh, three new metrics to look at. Awesome. Any questions, anything before I go on? Okay. Um, it looks like, Matt, did you put this in here? I did. Cool. You want to talk about so, it? Sure. So one of the things that we're um, Talking about, I'm never really quite sure what working group this is applicable. I think this is the most applicable one. Um, I have three uh, three kind of regional chapters for chaos. So obviously there's chaos Africa, and we're starting chaos Latin America and chaos in the Balkans. And one of the things that uh, that we're that we're doing is trying to help. Uh, people in open source broadly. So just how as a as a as an individual, um, if you're looking at open source as a way to get involved in say technology, like how do you even begin to participate or begin to understand what open source is about? So this this is not meant to be about um, the chaos project in particular. Our belief is that, Supporting people uh, globally to engage with open source is, is healthy for everybody. So that's kind of the, the idea here. So um, this is going to be, this is slide deck is, is very biased because this is something that I had been putting together. So kind of like the DEI.md file, like the language in there is, is naturally just coming from me. Um, and so what this is, is kind of that first set of slides is just kind of talking about, it's really from an organizational perspective in engaging with, um, with open source and kind of what that looks like. And so what the motivations are to engage, uh, with open source. So it's got a very, very kind of organizational, um, slant to it. So you can kind of see just talking about. Um, those first few slides about just kind of companies and maybe the projects that they engage with. So there would be some narrative that would have to be built around that and why they would engage with those. Um, when you get down to like slide 10, it gets a little bit more specific on, on kind of what that engagement could look like. And then slide 11 is just talking about the leverage development model and what that's all about. Slides 12 and 13 are saying, listen, they're like all these companies do it. You know what I mean? And there are just so many different projects that they could engage with. Um, and then slide 14 is is kind of just 
trying to localize it to a person saying, listen, this is something you probably do and you may not, you may not even know, do, know it on kind of a, a local level. Um, and then continuing on, just saying there are a couple different ways, you know, what we just talked about prior, that leverage development really isn't the only reason, um, only participation model. For example, just a brief conversation about Kubernetes. Slide 19 through 20 are um, just kind of these three components of open source. So community processes and licensing, just providing a little bit of detail around those three. That's slides 20 through 24 or something like that. Um, but then kind of saying, but you know, all of this engagement is not without risk as we've seen in the past. And then 25 through 27 is saying we have organizations that kind of broker and try to help stabilize the commons that they're particularly interested in. So clearly the commons that I was talking about prior was uh, commons around the Linux foundation. You know what I mean? Kind of these corporately engaged open source projects. So again, that's my bias. Um, that would be the, the end of the first uh, kind of series of events. And then I think slides 29 through, like those are all empty down below, would be like kind of then saying, all right, so now you want to participate in a particular project. Like what might be a few things that you could do as a person to start to, to start that engagement? So you may all not like this or have feedback or thoughts on, on how we might want to present this material, but I just wanted to get the conversation started. And I thought um, kind of a visual of slide decks might be a, a good way to get things started. And Don, I included that reference from the CNCF just down at the bottom. So as we have other, other things that we could potentially point people to, uh, that's also very helpful. So that's that. I'm just starting to build this out to get feedback. And feedback yeah. as well. Yeah, this is really cool. I I love the the way you approached it. I think I have probably never seen open source explained in that way, which is um really cool. And um then the other part, the question I have is on the from the break slide, um I didn't get what you say would be down below um will it be like how the participant of how who is watching can you know start contributing or yeah. participate in open source in their own in yep. different capacities yep exactly so it'd be more specific to like you as a person kind of watching this yep how you would um how you would engage Okay, got it. I think I love I love the flow you used and the the company examples because it will it makes it relatable to the to they know those companies. Everybody knows Netflix. So I love the way you approached it. Don't have any major comments. Great. Thanks, Ruth. Yeah, Daniel. Uh thanks. Uh, Matt, I was wondering who sort of is your target audience for this? Um, like and who would this be shared with? Like, are you trying to reach contributors that would like to encourage people to become open source contributors? Are you reaching out to open source projects or companies to get involved with open source? Is there a specific audience? It would probably be the former of the two. So it really the intention is like people who maybe have kind of heard about open source and as a but just not very familiar with what it is or how it like why like why do we have it other than just you know it's a free piece of software that I can download off the internet but what does engagement really mean so it's probably the former ultimately trying to help people in the different regions ultimately engage with open source great and then how would this be sort of shared with those with that target audience is it just kind of wide yeah. sweeping broadcast or yeah, so we were going to, um, we've set up uh, chaos.moodlecloud.com. And so we were going to actually do a learning management system where we would have a series of courses that would be delivered to help people kind of cross that, I wonder what open source is to maybe I understand, you know, or I understand a little bit better and maybe I'm more comfortable now. So we would deliver it through an LMS like Moodle is where we're really in right now. And these would be then free courses available um, to anybody who would like to take them. And we're not quite sure yet, like how we would structure those courses. 
you know what I mean? Like, do you have to do one before you can go to the next or are they just all open, openly available? Not sure on that kind of structure yet. Gotcha, thanks. We could create something yep. of, a, of a very small scale wizard to, you know, have you ever touched an open source project before? And if not, definitely begin here. <laughs> yep. So Matt, from this part down, do you have, like, how would you um, like folks to drop ideas of, because I'm thinking you're, you're talking about the how, but I would also maybe include the why, why somebody would want to engage and like what the benefits are to them personally, but like, where would yeah. I, where would I drop that comment in just in here somewhere? Yeah, just in there or just create a new slide, you know okay. what I mean? Mm -hmm. You would capture that content. Um, those blank slides, that's not like a set number that I have fixed. I had just kind of copied the entire top. So it's just a mirror of the top number of slides is all that it is. Okay. So this is like kind of an open doc that anybody can kind of collaborate? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yep. And the, you know, one of the things that I, I kind of do struggle with is top, those top slides. They're a, they're a narrow slice of, of what the world looks like with respect to open source. You know, yeah. it's certainly not everything. And like if I was to scroll down to there, there's that slide that's like participation models, 15, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. You know, like each one of those could kind of have its own slide deck, but I'm not speaking to all of those things and how that all works. Because I'm afraid that would just be too much. So I tried to go, I think leverage from what I've learned over the years, the leverage development model or that whole idea of, you know, we all work together to solve a shared problem or a non-differentiating problem is the one that, that resonates with people pretty quickly. And so I thought that was the best one to kind of draw forward here. Got you. And I guess there is room for, um, as we tailor these to the individual regions, um, maybe a different model might resonate more with folks there, you know, like that's- Yeah, right, we'll just fair, like, mm -hmm. totally fair. Yes, this is, again, me like working oftentimes in the corporate open source space here in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> like there's a very, <laughs> there's a very heavy bias on what you see in these slides. Well, there's an X. I assume the XKCD uh, slide of of uh, uh, the little piece oh, in Nebraska, it, like the little piece in Nebraska holding it all up, is in here somewhere yes. at some point. It's Matt. It's, 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 yeah, it's Matt. It's, Matt's all, the, <laughs> it's, it's all over my piece. building, is what I can tell you. It's been printed out like by every single person in my building and put on doors. Somebody yeah. needs to find that and drop that in our minutes because, like, I don't know if everyone's familiar with that cartoon, and it's great. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome this is great matt this is a fantastic start um yes thank you for doing that that's awesome yeah sure and I'm, I'm the hope too is that sean sean paid for the, the upgrade to moodle so we're all good there so we're off of the yeah. the trial version yeah but maybe i could work to get this into moodle i'm not sure how to do that it's probably not very complicated but it's, um, um, and, yeah, I mean, it might be a good test if you want me to put it into Moodle. One of the things about I, because I bought the lowest version subscription and I need to test if that's sufficient for what we intend to do. So this okay. would be a great test. I probably won't get Perfect. to it until Friday um, because I have a few other things that are pressing, but I can give mm -hmm. it a, definitely give it a run before our next meeting and i'll just come back to these okay. notes for the link yep no that's great and i'll um we have there's a, a meeting of the regional leads not this friday but next friday so uh christy ruth and Sella, and I'll, I'll share this with them as well and just kind of get their feedback on it as well and also just to add on to that um thank you for finding that cartoon by the way um it's pretty great uh, I also put it in chat before, before noticing somebody had. Uh, awesome. Thank you. 
we have a meeting today uh, with our project managers, our very first meeting, and so um, we'll hopefully have a little more structure uh, to mm -hmm. the onboarding course and how we're building it out and all of that. So at least a plan of action, maybe. <laughs> maybe not today because we only have half an hour, but <laughs> we'll, we're on the we're on the right track. So then, yeah, we can just kind of fill in the blanks as we go. That'd be great. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the last thing that I had to was we had, I mentioned this community call yesterday, but we had run a survey uh, within the chaos project. I don't know, it was a while back, just about um, things we're doing well or things that we could improve on. And we've been through the data um, to identify themes. And if you sh stop yeah. your share, I can just share mine really quickly. Um, so these were the themes that were kind of drawn forward. They're, you know, not terribly surprising. So, you know, continuing to work on, on communication is the first one, uh, thinking about our working groups. Um, we have struggled with this, I think over the years, you know, like more working groups and, and maybe sunsetting or, or reducing the number of working groups might be a good thing. I think that would also feed into that theme one. Um, software building community around um, software would be helpful. Um, and then just kind of thinking about newcomer experiences and community experiences as a whole. So these are these were comments that people had suggested that we kind of focus on uh, within the project. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take these and um, post kind of what we're seeing from these themes um, and talk about things that we are doing currently in the chaos project to to try to address uh, some of these these suggestions. Uh, so whether it's like the you know the newcomer channel or the the onboarding um, uh, programs that we have like around theme four as an example and kind of talk about and guide people towards the thing they have. Um, but I also think that it will give us an opportunity to kind of reflect on um things that we need to continue to think about and, and ways that we can continue to improve so that's it so thanks for everybody commented on that and um more to come on that i, I suspect we'll have the blog post done about that. so that's that done does anybody okay. have a question did you put a link to that in the minutes uh no because it's just sitting on my desktop Okay. Um, but I could. I mean, it. Yeah, whatever. If you, it, it'll like a week, like next next week at oh, this time, I'll yeah. have something that's like Google Docy, and we can yeah. go from there. Google Docy, I love that. And when I said it, I had to think about what I actually said. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, any questions, comments on that survey? Um, we did it quite a while ago, so yeah, so some of those, some of the comments were before we have implemented some things, just to kind of clarify that for folks. This was not recent, really. It's been a while, so um, yeah. There has been, um, there have been questions about if we're going to rerun it in October or, or what we're going to do for like the next time that we run this. Um, does anybody have thoughts on that or? Maybe let's, Dawn is running a survey right now with respect to chaos. So maybe let's like finish out first and then we could announce a second one. So like, cause Dawn is kind of promoting that he's running. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And Don made a code if you didn't see for her survey. I did see that. That was awesome. And, it had chaos in the and, and a slide that people can put in their slide decks to promote the survey at OSSEU or anywhere else. I could have promoted them at the Pink concert on Monday in Nebraska, where I met Pink's mom in an elevator, I would just like to mention. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm -hmm. How did you know it was her? Of well, looks like her. First, so she's with a friend. I ask her, are you Pink's mom? She's like, well, we're here for the concert tomorrow night. 
And I said, yeah, but, and her friend goes, yep. And they get, I get off on my floor and then I Google Pink's mom. It was totally her. <laughs> that's a good story. I would tell people I'm Pink's mom anyway, too. I mean, well, I know that's why I Googled her <laughs> because, you know, I want to make sure these two older than me ladies were not messing with me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got 10 minutes. Is there anything else we want to talk about today or do you want those 10 minutes back? I'll leave it up to you all. I'm good. Any feedback uh, on that slide deck would really be appreciated. Or just drop your ideas in there, uh, particularly about that that second part about contributing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know that we have anything else, so I think we're good. Is that cool with everybody? Last cool. this is your last chance. All right. Well, it's like a class. I've never said you have 10 minutes. Do you want to talk more? <laughs> so yeah, what student has ever said, yeah, please lecture for 10 more minutes. Oh, we're awesome. You know, I'll hang out for 10 more minutes. I don't care. <laughs> right. Well, have a great All rest good. of your day, everybody. We'll see you around. Take All care. Right. All right. Thanks, Take everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.